Media giant Viacom has been accused of secretly uploading its content to YouTube while public, publicly criticizing the file sharing site for hosting those stolen clips. We're going to dig into the mess right now. It's The Loop. Last week, court documents were released in the ongoing three-year copyright battle between Viacom and YouTube. The documents support Viacom's claim that YouTube was essentially a bootlegging site that posted illegal content in an effort to boost traffic and sell YouTube to the highest bidder. Conversely, YouTube claims that while Viacom was protesting its content on the site, they were secretly uploading content they had roughed up to look leaked or stolen in an effort to promote their own shows. Who's right? Who's wrong? And how will this lawsuit affect the future of sharing music and videos on the internet? Quiet in the court! It's The Loop. All right, joining me from Los Angeles to help us make sense of it all, editor for TechMeme.com, Rich DeMuro is here. Hello, Rich, how are you? Hey, Kevin, doing great, thanks. Good. Uh, Viacom claims that YouTube turned a blind eye to copyrighted content on its site in order to boost its traffic before actually selling it off. Um, first of all, did they do that? Because it, it seems that there's an email or two floating around that, that, that points to yes. Yeah, it's interesting. They got a hold of some of those earlier uh, emails. But, you know, they were doing what any video site that was just starting wanted to do under the law. Have people upload a bunch of stuff and, you know, sort it out. If someone said, hey, this is my video, they were going to take it down. And that's what they wanted to do in the early days. So, uh, you know, Viacom is just kind of latching on to that. But, but uh, Rich, real quick, is, is that the case? Because I, they, it seemed that some of the emails pointed to, hey, look, we know we don't own these clips. They probably should be pulled from the site, but eh, leave them up there. They're getting a bunch of views. If we take them down, we could lose like 60% of our traffic. Yeah, I think that they, they did see that there was some content on there that was not definitely theirs, that was copyrighted. But to say that they didn't take down any of it, I don't think that's true. I mean, YouTube you knew that they had to get this site growing, but they also knew that they couldn't have everything on there that was necessarily copyrighted or pirated or whatever you have it. True. And, and, and did things change when Google bought YouTube? Because then there were yeah, much bigger players and much deeper pockets. Absolutely. I mean, it brought money. It brought advertising, but it also brought their fingerprint technology. I think nowadays when you look at YouTube, I mean, they have a pretty good system for figuring out what's legit on the site, what's not legit on the site. You upload a video with some copyrighted music on it. Immediately, it's going to say, hey, can we replace this with uh, something that's licensed from Universal or EMI? So nowadays, I think they have their act together. But don't forget, this was a startup. These were guys that came up with an idea that wanted to do something, and they revolutionized video on the web. So you can't fault them for that. I mean, obviously, they're going to have some stumbles here and there along the way. True, true. And in fact, Google struck back with an accusation that while Viacom was complaining about its content being on YouTube, they were actually uploading their own unauthorized clips to YouTube to promote their own shows. Is there, is there any proof of that? Yeah, I think that's what the most interesting part of this case is, is that they're saying that, uh, you know, Viacom employees were going to Kinko's and different places so they can upload these roughed up clips. I mean, they, there was one email I read where the, the guy from uh, Viacom said, hey, we're thinking of adding time code to this clip so that it looks really uh, unique and original and people will think they stumbled upon something really neat on YouTube. Uh, that right there, I think, really, really uh, waters down Viacom's case because they saw the potential of having their videos on this site. And at the same time, uh, you know, five years later, later they say hey uh, you know this was not right, right. that's that's kind of weird and if I'm a judge in this case and I know that you know some judges still literally think the internet is a series of tubes so maybe they don't understand how YouTube and, and file sharing and video sharing works but if I'm a judge here and, 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 and I see the evidence that Viacom was uploading clips and simultaneously complaining about clips being on the site the case ends right because there's no way to prove which clips were uploaded illegally and which clips were uploaded with their consent yeah, not necessarily. I mean, I think I think we're going to have to be worried if the judge asks to see like the videotapes in this case. We'll have to explain sort of how <laughs> right. uh, you know digital video works. But you know, I think not necessarily. I think that Viacom still does have a valid case if they can prove that there was a little malice here, that they weren't taking down videos that they had to, that this happened over and over. But at the same time, like I said, it gets kind of watered down when they say, "Hey, we were uploading things at the same time." How does YouTube? How are they supposed to know when they get a takedown notice for you know a Colbert clip when uh, you know Viacom? secretly uploaded it. It was their staff members. Did everyone know about this? Did only certain people? So I think it, it gets really cloudy here and it's really tough to draw the lines. You gotta check for the time code. That's the only way to tell. It keeps it authentic. <laughs> what's, the, what's the fallout from this case, Rich? Let's say uh, uh, the judge uh, rules in favor of Viacom. How, how does that change the internet as we know it? Oh, it is It is going to be a chilling effect on the internet. I mean, if, if they rule for Viacom here, you know, you're going to have people that are worried about starting sites. You're going to have these sites really tread carefully because they don't know what they can upload. Uh, 
you know, you got to remember, YouTube these days, you can upload anything to there. You have news breaking out of places. You have people uploading video from their cameras of breaking news. I mean, it's really been an interesting take on the freedom that you have to upload anything to this site. Uh, that mixed with the fact that they've gotten pretty good with the copyright stuff, I think, you know, is it, going to keep this site going. But at the same time, if they do rule in Viacom's favor, it's going to be a, a real chilling effect on the rest of the web. Right. And it's, it's really, it's, it's looking, it's a slap in the face of the uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, if you ask me. As long as my keyboard cat is safe, there's a smile on my face, though. I, <laughs> thanks to Rich DeMiro from TechNeme for keeping us in the loop. I appreciate it, Rich. Thank you so much. No problem.